Tuesday night baseball now from the home of the Cardinals, Bush Stadium in St. Louis. Tonight, the second of three to start the week between the Washington Nationals and the St. Louis Cardinals. Alongside Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa and Danny, as pitching matchups go, it doesn't get much better than what we've got here for this one. Well, Matt, these are two of the best in the business, two guys that throw a lot of strikes, and if their game is on, we should have a very low-scoring ball game with these two elite starting pitchers. Major League Baseball on the show is next. Seth Hargrove will be on the bump for game two of the series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Wow, not only was this guy good in his last start working deep in the game, but he also posted a double-digit strikeout total. We'll see if he has that kind of stuff again in this one. Stepping up is Luis Garcia, and we are set for baseball Leading here this the evening. The third baseman, number two. Luis first pitch on its Garcia. way. And nope, our first pitch ball. is taken for ball one as we're officially nope, underway tonight here in St. Louis. And fellas, we take a look at the Redbirds entering play here tonight. Four and two over their last six games, including a win last time out. Yeah, Matty, they've been playing some quality baseball. The first four games of this homestand, they've taken three out of the first four, looking to capitalize and continue to play good ball today. You know, Dero, this is time to get greedy. When you win three of the first four, boy, if you can win four of the first five, that sucks, sets up a really right. nice stretch of baseball. The They'd love game. to win this one here today and keep that roll going. And here's how the Nats line up in this one. Mark, what's your take on him against one of the best starters in the game? Matty, you take a look at this lineup. I find myself thinking back to my playing days when I knew I had the ace on the mound. It had to be win day, and when you get in a car to drive to the yard, you tell yourself, even though you felt bad about it, just get two or three. Outside, All the pressure's the on the big boy to have to execute, and he usually does. Look for this lineup to try and execute and score, manufacture one or two runs early in this one. The 1 0 home. Is swung on and missed in that strike one. And we are a long way from summer tonight, and even 40 degrees at first pitch. Now the one and one pitch. Two balls, one pitch. Bases are empty, one man out. Well, he just threw that fastball by him. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. Turned on, but that's ripped foul down the third baseline. Fouls this one off. Just getting started here in St. Louis. Seared down the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. The payoff pitch one more time. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off. Maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. Neither guy giving in here, and they'll do it again. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Right fielder giving chase. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. The right fielder, Vladimir Guerrero. 
Now it'll be Vladimir Guerrero comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. First pitch coming. Here it is. Yeah. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Let's get it going, boys. Somebody's loose, hitting 98 with ease in the first inning. And that's inside off the plate with the fastball. It's one and one. Swing and a miss on the sinker, and it's one and two. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. This one misses, and that'll fill the count here. Three and two with two away. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. And we'll have nope. the first base ball runner ball. of the ball game here as that misses, and it's a two-out walk. Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more walks than other guys is exactly what we saw right there. Pitchers one. work around them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. So next will be the four hole for the Nationals. Juan Soto. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Aye. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Oh, nothing one. and one. That's a great sinker right there. These batters are going to have to bear down because if he's got that good pitch working, it's going to be a long game. They might have to sit off speed. Guerrero is off of first with two away. Fastball misses inside. It's even at one. Hoping to discourage a steal attempt with the slide step here. Yeah, that's a good way of trying to control the running game, Matt. The problem with it, though, it has a tendency to throw your command off because you're worrying about that runner on base. Now a throw over. No, back in safe. standing. One one. He got two balls. That's a one great strike. call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. To two and two now. Two and two. Hey boys, you talking about getting your A swing off right here? That's what it looks like. A guy with massive power letting it eat. Now a throw over to first. In the dirt, and oh, he can't quite dig it out. The 2-2. Two -two. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. One left for Washington. Now the Cardinals will see what they can do. No score. Max Scherzer gets the starting assignment for the Nats in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, we're getting a look at a real competitive pitcher here. Career ERA in the low threes, and that's not an easy thing to do in the day and age of small ballparks and guys Leading swinging up. for the Lord fences. Rock solid that's pitcher, does a lot of things Ozzie. well, and it'll be fun to watch him work in this one here today. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Ozzie Smith stands in as he checks his swing here for strike one. So guys these Nationals as they interplay here tonight it was another loss for him last time out and that makes them two and eight over their last ten games. Yeah Maddie, this road trip's been a little bit of a struggle for this team. First four games they find themselves one and three haven't played particularly well. 
They'll find a way to regroup. They have to find a way to play a little bit more fundamentally sound. Start there first. Hit on the ground is short. Throw on to first, and one shortstop grounds out to the other, one away. Now a moment here in St. Louis to look at the Cardinals' starting lineup. Thoughts, Dan, who stands out? Look, Matt, everybody should be looking at the guy in the three spot. He's really excelled against right-handed pitching this season, hitting over 300 against them coming in. So given the matchup he's faced with here, I wouldn't be surprised at all to see him make some noise at the plate. Standing in now, Lou Brock. As the first pitch Whoa, to him runs yeah. a bit inside for ball one. One and oh pitch on the way. Hey. One ball, That's why one this guy is great. Never misses over the heart of the plate. It's got electric stuff, but pinpoint control to all four quadrants. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Balls and strikes belong to Mr. Jerry Hillsdale. Dero, Jerry Hillsdale might be one of the more solid everyday umpires in the league right now. Yeah, I think he's one of the best in the business, Dan. High praise all around. You go into both meetings with the managers, and what do they do? They rave about Jerry Hillsdale. Softly hit down the line to third. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. And he'll reach second now with one away. Man, that swing looked like self-defense than a real ball right swing. But hey, he oh muscled God. it out there, and it was enough Jeez. to get him safely the second. Those are the kind of hits that will drive you nuts as a pitcher. So now to the plate, Michael Lee. Hey. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Runner at second here with one man out. A swinging strike, no and now it's 0 2. I know that feeling. Played 14 years in the big leagues and still can't hit a slider. Man, the pitcher let the guy off easy right there. That old two pitch wasn't even close. I'd rate that as a non competitive pitch. The one two. Nope. Two, two, two. One out and the runner on second base. And the slider gets him swinging. Two gone. On the mound, he's thinking, grab some pine, Rook. Listen, for almost that everyone, point. the adjustment to hitting big league pitching man. is a big one. Mark. Some guys have Mark. success Mark. when they first get called up, but as soon as teams start figuring out how to get you out, that's when the learning process really starts. To the plate now, Mark McGuire. As the one first pitch years have been high, it's ball one. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. The set and the 1 0. Count now a ball and a strike. The 1 1. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Two and one, here it is. These are the moments right here. You got a good pitcher on the mound, 
you don't know if these opportunities are going to present themselves throughout the course of the game. You have to capitalize in this situation. I went to the slider to try and get him to chase, but it's full now, three and two. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. Ready with the payoff pitch. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Back-to-back -back strikeouts keep him out of danger. We're off to the second, scoreless on the show. New inning set to get underway, and next to hit is the catcher, Gary Carter. The catcher, number eight, Gary Carter. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. 0 oh, 2 count. He could do just about anything you want right now. Up, down, in, out, hard, soft. One. Good time to be a pitcher. And one ball, this one's strikes. inside and high. One and two down. And he struck him out. He's just got great strikeout stuff. In his last start, he racked up double-digit Ks. And it looks like he could finish up in that range again here. He's really an exciting pitcher to watch when he's sending guys packing like this. Josh Bell the next to hit. And that misses for ball one. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. The 1-0. 2-0. I like the way they're making him work out on that mound. They've taken a lot of early pitches right here. It's going to benefit them in the later innings. It's two balls and a strike to Josh Bell. There's a ball low. He misses with the changeup. When a pitcher puts you in the proverbial rocking chair like he's doing right now, you have to take a deep breath. You can't start trying to guess along with him. Trust your fundamentals and stay on that fastball. The 3 1. Fouled away. Now the 3 and 2 pitch. And it's fouled away. Once again, a 3-2. This is on the ground over to first. And that is going to sneak on through into right. It's a one-out single. Batting seven. The center fielder, number 12. Kyle Schwarber. At the plate now, Kyle Schwarber. And he'll watch one miss up and away for a ball 1-0. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. The 1-0. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. Hey, guys, that fastball just registered 97 miles an hour. On a night like tonight where it's super cold out, if you don't get to head to that baseball right there and you get jammed, it's almost like getting stung by a pack of wasps. That misses. Two and one the count now to the national center fielder. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. And he misses low here, so the count goes to three and one. 
There's Starlin Castro. He'll follow next. The three and one pitch. And he misses oh. here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. It's all a part of learning how to pitch in the big leagues. Major League hitters will not bail you out by swinging at pitches out of the zone. So he's going to have to continue to learn how to get guys out at this level. Here's Starlin Castro. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Now a swing and a miss at a slider for a strike. Look at the radar gun on that slider. Off speed pitch, 91 miles an hour. That's just pure filth. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Yeah, Matty, I'm going to need a better approach out of the eight all hitter. He's hitting in the bottom of the order for a reason. He's got to be willing to work the count, grind it, get this pitch count up, and get on for the boys in front of him. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Working for the punch out and the offering. Good fight to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for out number two. Big strikeout for the second out there, but he's not out of it yet. We'll see if he can feed off that cave, wiggle out of the jam, and keep this game tight. Now, Max Scherzer, as he will swing and miss on a fastball on the outer half at strike one. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. Come set, the 0-1. Hey, I know it's the pitcher at the plate, but he's going to grind it out right here. He's got a chance to help himself, and nothing's a bigger backbreaker to a team than watching the pitcher drive in a run. The 0-2. Swing and a miss as he chases one out of the zone for the third strike, and that's the third out of the inning. Nats leave a pair. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Stepping in for the Cardinals, Yadier Molina is set to lead off the whole half of the second. The catcher, Yadier Molina. First pitch on its way. And he gets ahead 0-1. 0-1's the count. He comes up empty that time as he's underneath it. 0-2. Hey, love the confidence in that pitch right there. Going right after one of the better hitters on this team. Not afraid to execute. Way outside. One and two. Into the windup and the pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. And this will be pulled in just in front of the warning track for the first out. Batting fit. The so here's field. how the Washington Nationals yeah. are positioned defensively. And I'm focusing on outfielder Juan Soto today. Obviously, the bat plays. We've seen it a time or two. This guy can go line to line with the quickness and go deep in a hurry. But defensively, he makes the game look easy as well and a strong arm to back it up. Into the box, Stan Musial. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Wind up and the 0-1. Skied down the left field line. 
And it's a foul ball. Bottom of the second here with no score. Inside as that perhaps will back him off a bit. One and two. I know he buried that slider in right there, but that's a dangerous pitch. If he doesn't pot commit and bury that inside, it leaks out over the plate. He can get hurt with that pitch. Now a swing and a ball foul tip straight into the catcher's glove as he's able to hold on for the second out. That swing tells me he was really trying seven. to get a pitch out the front and rip it down man. the line, but no that way. wasn't a great pitch to All do right, it on. Auto. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. And that'll bring in Nolan Arenado. As he will take a look at strike one on a fastball right down the pipe. He'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Scherzer into the windup. 0 1 pitch on its way. Two out, nobody on. And he looks at a ball, one and two. One ball, two strikes, McCown. Two ball. balls, two strikes to Nolan two Arenado. Balls, two strikes. He went with the off speed there once he got him to 0 and 2, but now that they both missed, I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here. You don't have to give in, but you can't be too cute either. This one's down to third. Throw on to Bell at first, and the side is retired. Clearly enjoying their time here at the ballpark, as are we. Two complete, still scoreless here on the show. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Luis Garcia. He'll stand in to open things up here in the third. Garcia. First pitch on the way. Here's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. That's oh, why 2 and 0. Oh. Hey, struggling to find the release point of that curveball. That wasn't a very good one. Somehow he's just got to find that feel because that's a pitch he's going to need going forward. 2 and 0 oh count and the pitch. Hey. What a well executed fastball right there. Down and away. If you're going to do any damage with that pitch, you have to think up the middle the other way, and you have to be diving and leaning out over that thing. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 pitch. And this is sliced hard down the left field line. And it looks like he'll have extra bases here to begin the third. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. That was not a good yeah, pitch, but he handled it nicely, guys. Yeah, and the pitcher's got yeah. to wonder what he has to do to get it past this guy. That pitch was off the plate, but he shows great reach, gets good extension, and drives it for a two-bagger. That'll bring up Josh Harrison as he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0-1. Flew out in his only at bat so far. The 0-1 delivery. High and deep down the left field line. And that nearly broke our scoreless tie. Instead, it's a foul ball. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. Fouled off. And this is 
swung on and missed. Five quick strikeouts now, and that's your first down of the inning. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. At the plate, Vladimir Guerrero. He swings, and it's a line drive to left center. And that's in there. Base hit. Garcia rounds the corner and is headed home. And he's Did safe you? at the plate as they take the lead. That is what every manager is looking for out of the middle of his lineup. When you get your three, four, and five hitters producing this early in the season, it could be contagious, and everyone in the lineup starts to contribute. Soto to the plate now. One as the first pitch misses to him. It's ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And he fouls this one off. One one lifted down the line and left and this will hop over the wall but the run will score and time will be called here as the pitching coach heads out to the mound and hopefully try and settle this guy down a bit. Fame catcher Gary Carter hits next. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. The 0 1 pitch. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 2. Soto leads off second with one gun in the inning. And here's a fastball on 0-2, but it misses one and two now. And a swing and a miss, and another punch out here. Six already, and that's out number two. That strikeout was all about setting the hitter up with hard stuff. You can see the first three pitches are coming in fast, and then he slows it down on the fourth pitch, knowing the hitter is sort of conditioned for the hard stuff. Yet another way to upset a hitter's timing. So that'll bring up Josh Bell. And a ball 1 0. A base hit in his first trip. The 1-0. There's a well-hit ball out to right center field. As he arrives at second without a play, as a run will score on the play as well. The center field. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given a chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high fiving teammates in the dugout. Standing in now, Kyle Schwarber. And he lays off there, 1 0. Worked a walk in his first plate appearance. The 1 0 home. Gets him to chase a ball out of the zone for the first strike. Oh. 
One one pitch and a good sinker there but he can't find the zone two and one. He certainly has an open base down there but you don't want your defender standing flat footed for much longer. Three runs already home here. He's fallen Ball behind now three and one. Starlin Castro would be next. The three one Ball and four. that misses Second ball three. four so it's first and second now with two out. Well some might say a walk there is OK because you've got first base open but he's been struggling out there and if you're going to Starling. work around hitters you don't want to work around hitters in the bottom of the lineup. So here's Starlin Castro struck out in his first at bat. Yeah he's got to put that one behind him especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. First delivery to him. After the walk and with runners on the bags he couldn't afford to fall behind here. Nice job of jumping ahead with strike one. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Swing and a miss on the slider and he's quickly behind nothing in two. And he struck him out his seventh of the ball game and that ends the inning. So three runs on four hits here. No errors and two men left on base. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. It's the Nationals three and the Cardinals nothing. Of the third now, and that'll bring in the second baseman, the Tommy Cardinal. Edmund. Hey, Matty, the they need to get some man. offense going Tommy. in this one. Getting a run back Ed in this man. inning, give them a little bit of confidence that they can keep up in this game. Nope. Outside. Lay off a fastball here in a good spot, but rule the ball 1 0. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. The 1 0 is yeah. laid off, but in there for strike one. I got a ball, one strike. Drops one down here, and he'll try to beat it out. But a foul That's ball. Down. One and two the count now. Into the windup and the pitch. Lifted into center field. Schwarber is right there, one down. Batting ninth, the pitcher, Seth Hargrove. So in now is the Cardinals pitcher, Seth Hargrove. First offering. Tried to check his swing there, but did he go around? He did, says Kenny Jansen at first. Strike one. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. 1 and 1. Ball two. Swing and a miss Correct there, count. and it's two, two and two. And two. Oh, and this is swung on and missed four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off no base, and one. that's just what they did right Shortstop. there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. Smith. Stepping in now, Ozzie Smith. The 
pitch. He'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. Second at bat now. He grounded out to start the home first. Scherzer into the windup. Here's the 0 1. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's 1 and 1. Bases are empty here with two men out. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. This one's flared toward left center, and Castro will make the catch, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Cardinals. They trail in this one, 3 nothing. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first, Heidi Watney is standing by with a report. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Nationals manager Dave Martinez between innings, specifically about his club's offense to this point. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've already worked out three walks, so he feels as though that kind of willingness to let the opposition work themselves into trouble will continue to result in good things for them on the scoreboard. Thank you, Heidi. All set for the start of the fourth. And that'll bring up one of the better hitting pitchers in Max Scherzer. On its way is pitch number 75. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. I guess the game plan from the offensive standpoint today coming into this one was they were going to work the counts. They've been super patient at the plate in the early goings of this game, and they've got the lead looking for more. And there's ball one. And one. One and two to the Nationals pitcher. Here comes the one two. Good job to spoil that one away and he stays alive. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. The third base. Next, it'll be Luis Garcia. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. Now, here's the first offering. Hey. Ooh, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. Three runs, five hits, and no errors so far for the Nationals. And he takes strike two. The beauty of that sequence right there, the fastball in, now to change up away is where do you go as a hitter? Do you cover away? Do you cover the heater in? You can't do both. You have to pick a side of the plate and hope that's where he goes. So after getting the strikeout on the fastball, not a bad time to check out our pitch speed comparison for our two starters. And folks, that is not a misprint. He's been clocked at over 100 miles an hour so far. My goodness. So two are gone now in the Nationals' fourth. And the ever-versatile Josh Harrison digs in. First pitch on its way. Hits the bottom of the strike zone here with the sinker. Strike one. Two out, nobody on. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Two one. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Popped him up. Molina is there and the side is retired. Nationals gone in order. They lead it three to nothing.
Stepping in once again is Lou Brock. One Four for one Parker. as he reached base no with a double his first time up. Move. And that's been their only hit so Brock. far in this one. They've been dealing with some really great pitching in this game. A ball one and no strikes. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. Two balls, no strikes. Two balls and a strike to the St. Louis leadoff hitter. Now the 2 1. Ball three. Great A.B. up to this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. The 3-1. And oh, that misses it. for ball, ball four. four. The leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. This is only their second base runner of the game after that the earlier hit. Tough eight. to score when you don't have Michael. anyone on base, so we'll see if Lee. they can get something going here. Next to hit is Michael Lee struck out in his last trip to the plate. First pitch on its way. Hey, this is a perfect opportunity for them to get on the board right now. Leadoff man has done his job. And now the middle of the order gets their shot at the plate. Here comes the 0 1. And a pitch out. And a ball, Nothing doing break. though, and that's ball one. Brock on at first. Nobody out. In the dirt here. And he'll rein it in as the count moves to one and two. Trying to send him packing for the second time. That's Inside and a hair low. It's two, two balls, balls and two, two strikes. strikes. Man, this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. Scherzer will check it first. Runner back standing. Nobody out. Runner on first. Hit hard on the ground to second. Harrison has it. Zips it to Castro for one. The relay not in time as he beats the throw by a step. No real chance from the roll two first that time. Baseman. He's just too quick Four. coming out of the batter's box. You basically have to make a perfect turn on a hard hit ball to double him up. Now they need to keep an eye on him over at first. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Mark McGuire. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this AB. Strike one to start the at bat. Slider, and that's in there for strike two. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. Fastball one laid off two. well below the knees. Boy, he sped him up in this at bat. Now it's time for the changeup. This guy's got a good one, and he hasn't thrown it yet in this at bat. Trying to entice him with the change up here, but it dips below the knees. It's two and two. Regardless of the result right here, to be down 0-2 and work it back to an even count, got to feel like it's a win for the offense. And a dive, but he's back.
Uh, got him on the good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. Anytime you get rookies just breaking into the, the big leagues, you have to expect a certain Yikes. amount of this. There aren't any easy oh, at-bats at this level, and you really have to learn how to slow the game down in your head because everything feels like it's so much faster up here. Blake now, Yadier Molina, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. Man, this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one, mostly because he's getting ahead. 70% of the batters he's faced, he's thrown a first pitch strike to. Scherzer comes set. Here it is on 0 and 1. And a pitch out, nothing doing though, and that's ball one. No runs, just one hit, and no errors so far for the Redbirds. Whoa, and he lays right off back. for a ball, two and one. A swing and a ground ball to third. Throw on to Bell at first, and the side is retired. Vladimir Guerrero will stand in to lead off the next half inning. On to the top of inning number five we go. The Nationals lead it three to nothing. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And stepping up the right fielder, Vladimir Guerrero. Vladimir Guerrero. First pitch on the way. Ball oh, that's low. One oh pitches a curveball that looked good from here but it's two and oh this is a spot you really don't want to be in with a great hitter like that you can't just lay one in there but you also don't want to run the count to three and oh too tight Four with that inside. one three and oh not the way you'd like to start this fifth inning falling behind three and oh on the count it's about time he starts throwing some strikes. Now here's the pitch. Hey. A pretty aggressive pitch right there up in the zone. Surprised he didn't offer at it. Help. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Hey, excellent job to get yourself back in this count after throwing three consecutive balls. You got a chance to get an out right here. Now the three and two pitch. Hey, he's been on point from the start of this game. Just pounding the zone with a high 90s fastball. It almost looks like he's gotten stronger as the game's gone on. Fouled away. Payoff pitch one more time. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Scooped up. And the fifth He's inning out. will start with a ground out. One away. The left field, number 22. One. Soto. So now it'll be the four hole hitter Juan Soto he doubled his last time up. Yeah he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he Ball approaches one. this next A.B. Four one. One out, nobody on. Oh, that misses okay. two and zero. Oh. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers' pitches, and when he's getting the ball in the zone, he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. Three and zero oh now, and now the Cardinals get the bullpen working here. Both the lefty and a right-hander have stood up.
ready with his 100th pitch of the ball game. Probably better that he let that pitch go anyway. After seeing a lively fastball on the pitch before, it's pretty hard to sit back enough on a well thrown changeup. Bases are empty, one man out. And it's up to a 3 2 full count now. Thank you. And he struck him out. The 10th victim set down on strikes thus far. That's 10 strikeouts for now him now. And I'll tell you, he could rack up quite a few more before he's done. Still a lot of game left in this one. So now to the plate, Gary Carter. He'll take a look at the strike right down the middle. It's 0 and 1. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. And it's fouled away. Hey, he's done an amazing job of settling down. Two innings ago, I thought they were going to run him out of here. But now he's close to posting two shutout innings as a response. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ballgame, and this one ends the inning. Three up, three down for Washington, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Cardinals to discuss his thoughts on his lineup so far. And he told me he'd like to see a lot more aggressiveness in their at-bats the rest of the game. He said the problem is they're allowing themselves to fall behind in the count way too often, which is forcing them to constantly be in protect mode and swing at bad pitches. A lot of their outs have come from at-bats where they've fallen behind. So the focus going forward needs to be about being the aggressor early in the at-bats. All right, Heidi, thank you. The center fielder. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Stan Musial will stand no in strike. for the second time as he watches one miss low. It's a ball and no strikes. That evens it up one and one. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. Count. Two and two. Look out. Okay. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. And here's a slider strike three called and that'll be the first out of the inning. I'll tell you right now this guy has a shutout going and it's been all business. He's not now messing around trying to pick at corners. He's being Don't aggressive wait. in the zone and all he's right. attacking oh, no. each and every one of these hitters up to this point. Here's Nolan Arenado. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Now the 1 0 it is swung on and missed. Strike one. This offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long, so it's no wonder why they've only been able to pick up one hit so far. I'm not seeing much of a game plan from these hitters. And the pitch misses low and away for ball two. Again, ball three. 
We all know this guy is a great hitter in a 3-1 count. This is just what he's looking for. He loves to hit when the count's in his favor like this. Fastball is taken for a strike and he runs it full three and two. Fouled off. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. And he fouls this one off. You know, taking you inside the mind of a batter right here, you can't get in auto swing mode. You still have to control the strike zone. On pitch number 10 is the one that finally does it as he strikes out after a long battle here. That was a good job tying him the up inside on 19. that strikeout pitch. Second it wasn't man. even in the strike Tommy. zone, but with the hitter protecting Ed with man. two strikes, that's the kind of pitch you can get him to offer at, and he's probably not going to do much with it when he does make contact. That brings in Tommy Edmond. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0-1. Two outs already on the K this inning, so he'll be looking to do better. Hey! Fastball called for strike two. Hey, offense needs to check itself right here. They need to make this starter a little bit more uncomfortable. One strike away from five shutout innings. Popped up. And this is going to be a foul ball. Hey, that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0-2 count. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Well, that's a smart miss there. Sometimes guys will chase it down there, especially when they're in protect mode on an 0-2 count. Popped up. Scherzer has room in foul territory, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Cardinals. They trail it here three to nothing. Hennessy's Cabrera is into the ball now, game now as he'll make his Cardinals. fifth appearance of the season here. Cabrera. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And here comes the first baseman, Josh Bell. The first baseman, number 19, Josh Bell. Now here it comes. Swung on and missed for the first strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow, was he behind that fastball? Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And they could go either way now, I suppose. The 1 2. Ball 2. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Into the windup and the pitch. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Wow, from 0-2 to 3-2, and, and that last pitch on 2-2 two and two wasn't even close. He had this guy in the ropes, but now he let him right back into this at bat. Now the payoff pitch home. Tough That's pitch to four. lay off, Take but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. That's an excellent at bat right the there. Fell behind early one and two. Kyle. Didn't panic or start Forward. chasing pitches out of the zone. He's able to lay off three pitches in a row, and he's standing on first with no outs. That's a great job.
Into the box now, Kyle Schwarber. Nope. As the ball first one. pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. A couple of walks for him thus far. Can't get around quick enough, and that'll move the count to one and one. Bell gets his lead at first, nobody out. Fouled away. Off the plate that time and a little high. It's even at two and two. Looked like he was a little over aggressive there to throw that nasty curveball. Just needs to slow his delivery down a bit. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. And this one's in the dirt. And a heads up play to get back to first as he wisely hadn't gotten too far from the bag. The 1 0. In the dirt. And now let's see. In time. And he is nailed at second. Now the 2 0. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. From the windup, the 3 0 pitch. Hey! One of the best ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. They're doing that, and this one caught the zone. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full three and two. And he lost him here on three two as that pitch misses. It's ball four. That was a great battle right there. He tried to get him to chase, but he laid off some really tough pitches and got a walk. Got to tip the cap to the batter that time. Digging in will be Max Scherzer. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, Matty, big time K last time up, and it's been a tough series for him so far. You can tell he's just not seeing the ball off this team. Let's see if he can make an adjustment right here. Ball one. And that misses ball one. I'll tell you, it's a helpless feeling for a manager or a pitching coach when your pitchers are having a really hard time throwing strikes. What are you supposed to do other than keep trying new guys until someone starts attacking the zone? The 1 0. Skied into very shallow right. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. A couple of walks, but no damage. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday night baseball after this. Tyler O'Neill is going to come off the bench as he'll be asked to lead off the bottom of inning number six. Number 27, Tyler O'Neill. First pitch of the A.B. now. 1 0. One and no pitch on the way. Swung on and missed. One ball, one, one and one. And some action out in that Washington bullpen now as we see both a left hander and a right hander throwing. Yeah. 
one and two as the changeup had him out in front there. Well, too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. He's been in total control out there tonight. Gets the leadoff guy with a strike no out there. And it Number just one. seems like we've seen Good so stop. many off-balance swings off and weekly hit balls in this one. Yeah. Ozzy Smith. This is skied out toward right. Right fielder giving chase. He gets there, and that's the second out. Now batting, left fielder. Lou. Next, here is Lou Rock. Rock. It was a walk in his last trip. Scherzer looks in. Here's the first pitch. The swing just got to try and straighten that one out. Two out lightning definitely applies to this offense. If this two hole hitter can get on, they could start something serious. Bases are empty here with two men out. And nope. it's That's one and one to Brock. But nope. one and one. Change up gets him but out nope. in front it's for strike two. two. That's how you open up the outside part of the plate. Pound two balls in, and they get right back outside. Nice pitch. Here comes the one two. <laughs> That's a good pitch right there, but you know, as a base stealer, when you're in the box like that, you want to protect your money makers, right? You don't want anything around your knees or your feet, so he was fortunate to get out of the way of that one. Lifted the other way to left center. Soto is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. Down in order go the Cardinals. Still down 3 nothing. Your Daniel Ponce de Leon is on now the pitch from the bullpen the now to start inning number 7. Number 32. Seventh inning ready to roll, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Luis Garcia. Third baseman, number two. First Luis pitch on its way. Hey. Here's the pitch. to center field. Stan the man waits on this one. One gone. The batter number five. Second base. Josh Harrison. Up next Josh Harrison. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Here's the first pitch to him. Line towards center field, and he'll break through with a solid knock here, his first of the ball game. Everybody's different coming out of spring training. Some guys get off the tour and start, some guys struggle. This is one that struggled, but maybe that single gets him going. In now, Vladimir Guerrero. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. He's working on a one for two game so far. The 0 1. And that oh, misses one and one. Cardinals get the bullpen started here as a right hander's up and warming.
And he comes back with a fastball. One and two now. Ball two. Two strikes. Now this is foul tipped right into the catcher's glove as he holds on to preserve the strikeout and there are two away. So it's a runner at first with two men out and that will bring up the dynamic bat of Juan Soto. From the belt kicks and deals. Harrison leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Now a fastball off the plate away, a ball and a strike. Inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. Three Ball balls three. and a strike to the Nationals left fielder. Count three and one. Hit hard towards center. In there, a base hit. That's the battle, Maddie. Working yourself into a 3 1 count. Having to count eight. leverage and getting Very ahead to a fastball. You don't get too many opportunities throughout the course of a game to have full count leverage, and he took advantage. To the plate now, Gary Carter. As he'll take one on the inside corner at the knees. It's strike one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. that time two and one hey lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage look for him to put the ball and play hard nope never tempted to swing at that ball down low it's ball three three and one here you have to make a good pitch on the mound grooving one here rarely works in your favor unless the hitter tries to do too much with it hey. and ooh, might have thought it was high but it's a strike three and two now Love the fact the pitcher challenged him in that spot right there. Didn't love the location. But I got to be honest with you. I think he's got him on his heels right now. Don't be shocked if he attacks the zone again. He'll try it again. Three and two. Full count still. Out of the stretch, the 3 2 pitch home. Count remains full. He's set. Here's the 3 and 2. Nope, that's and that down. pitch ball misses four. for ball four. So some intrigue now as the bases are loaded here with two away. These guys on defense are still within striking distance, but after that walk, one swing of the bat could really blow this thing wide open. Digging in, the switch hitter, Josh Bell. His prior history in this matchup, he's 0 for 4. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. away he put himself in a good position jumping ahead 0 and 2 with the bases loaded now we'll see if he can finish it off two out bases loaded oh and a good effort there to knock it down 
No on the first is going to get him, and the Nationals blow an opportunity here, and that ends the inning. Three left for Washington, but they lead it 3 nothing. Leading off the inning, it'll be Michael Lee. They'll look to spark the offense and even things up. Michael Lee. First offering. Fouled off. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. And he misses with it 1 and 1. Very impressive outing so far. His command has been spot on. Even when he misses his spot, it isn't out over the heart of the plate. He's throwing quality pitches. Here it comes on one and one. The line drive base hit to left field. So the leadoff man is aboard to start out the inning. So only the second hit he's given up tonight. Yeah, man, he's locked in and pretty dominant since the first. So as long as he can get back in that groove with the next batter, he's not going to worry too much about it. Blake now, Mark hey. McGuire, as the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. The 0 and 1 delivery. Runner goes for second. Pitch inside the throw. It's going to be far too late. That's a stolen base. Well, the offense has been in short supply here tonight, so maybe that bag was aimed at finding another way to generate some runs. Yeah, I don't think there's any doubt, Nettie. The ball isn't carrying well tonight, and we haven't seen any home runs, so sometimes you have to try for something else. Now we're seeing a single could be all it takes to push a run across. Oh, and this deflects right off him. Throw on to first in time, one away. That was an exciting play at first there. It will employ show track for a better look. Knowing you really had to let it loose to beat the runner, he fired off a 90-mile-an-hour throw. That's not a number you'll see very often from an infield throw, so he really showed off the arm that time. Into the box, Yadier Molina. As he lifts it in the air to right field. Catch made here in shallow right. Probably too shallow to advance. Now that the center fielder. Yeah. Next, it'll be Stan Musial. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. Scherzer comes set. Here's the delivery. Ball one, no play. It's really hard to work deep in the games when you're having an outing like this guy is. You're going to strike out a lot of guys. Well, guess what? Your pitch count's going to go up, too. And a change up here, but that's taken no low in the dirt for a ball. Now, you can see he's working around this guy right here. Why not? First base is open. Walk would be the worst thing in this spot. Lee at second with two down. That'll find its way out of play. Still going to have a good hitter's count. Two and one now. That's lifted the other way out to left. Soto is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Cards leave one. They trail in this one, 3 nothing.
Jordan Hicks has been summoned from now, the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 12, Jordan Hicks. Ready to begin the eighth, and Lead next it'll the be the outfielder, Kyle the Schwarber. Field, number 12, Kyle Schwarber. Here's the first pitch to him. In there, 0 and 1. Now here it comes. And this Whoa, misses the outside down. corner, so it's knotted up at 1 and 1. Hicks is one of those guys that just seems to be at his best under pressure. Runners in scoring position, tight game, tough hitters at the plate. That's when he's at his best. One of the keys, Matty V, to being a good reliever is being able to pitch out of trouble. Trouble that's created by the pitchers before you, or sometimes you even have some mess that you put on yourself. Hey, regardless if it's a mess that he's inherited or one that he's created for himself, this guy makes good pitches when the game's on the line. The one two. Is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Time to take a look at our starter comparison to this point. And the telling numbers can be found on the left side of your screen. Zeros in the run and earned run columns. So now into the box is Starlin Castro. It was a walk in his last trip. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Sent on the ground out to second. Reined in. And that's the second out. There's not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. Number 88. We'll get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 88. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Right there for strike one. Off the ball plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. That's in there on the outer half. One and two now. Hey, find a way right here. Two outs. This guy has come in throwing bullets. If he can get this team into the dugout right here with another donut and they regroup, start passing the baton a little bit, we got ourselves some action. Two out, nobody on. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. And the 2 2 pitch. Close there, but he doesn't get the call with the breaking ball. Well, all of the umpires in the seats thought that was strike three, and they weren't far off, but I think that was a good call. Looked to be just a bit outside. The 3 2 pitch. Weak roller right side. Throw the first with time to spare, and the side is retired. Nationals gone in order. They lead it three to nothing. Your Brad Hand will come on now out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this 52. season. Brad Hand. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And standing in is the Lead veteran up. third Lord baseman, Lord. Nolan Arenado. Third baseman, Nolan Arenado. Now here's the first offering. Eight. 
this offense has been underachieving all day, putting way too much pressure on their own pitching staff. Someone has to have a quality A-B and get this line going. The 0-1 on its way. Nope. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Hey, this is a real pesky hitter right here. As a pitcher, you really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. Now the 2-1. Swing and a liner. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three game so far. Hey, excellent job right there. Leading off the inning with a now base man. hit. We got to keep the this line moving. Hit. We cannot Tell stop. Me. Nobody can make an out. We have to find a way to put two men, maybe three men, put some pressure on this defense. Standing in now, Tommy Edmond. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. One pitch just behind the fastball oh, there. Two strikes now. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play. Arenado aboard here at first with nobody out. Now a swing and a fly ball. And Vlad won't get there. This is a foul ball. Back up the middle. Oh, and this is kicked out there by Castro. Nice effort by the shortstop right there. Kept it in front of him. That's, a, that's all he could do right there. No you know, deal in a spot Go like that. That's an infield single. That's a tough play. Just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job. But any way you look at it, that should be scored a base hit, and I'm sure it was. Ball Come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Now the first pitch on the ground toward the hole, and it's through a base hit. And they quickly get it in here to hold that runner at third base. Boy, Dero, we're looking at a big inning right here with that single. Bases are loaded, yet no runs have scored in this inning. Yeah, and that's exactly what that pitcher wants you to say. You have to eliminate the noise, Dan. Just try and drive in the guy from third base. Don't put pressure on yourself that you have to get everyone in with one swing of the bat. Pass the baton and keep the line moving. Ozzy Smith is at the plate as he looks at ball one. It's not easy to continue pounding the strike zone when you've given up three consecutive hits, but he has to trust that getting the ball down in the zone will get him an out. The 1-0. Is in there for strike one. He struggled a bit coming out of the bullpen here, so he needed that strike. Maybe it settles him down a little bit. Tight spot. Base is loaded. Nobody out. Oh. Two balls and a strike. Man, the Redbirds, they've been struggling all game long. They've yet to been able to get that big hit. This is the time for the big hit for the Redbirds. Now the 2-1. Fastball that misses. I got three balls. Three balls, one strike. Oh, and it misses. Ball four. And that will force home a run. Wonder Suero. Summoned in the toughest situation a reliever can face. Bases loaded, nobody out. Number 51, Wander Suero. Lou Brock will stand in against the new pitcher, and he couldn't ask for a better scenario as he stands in with the bases loaded and nobody out.
Here's the first pitch. Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? So on the first will be in time, but meanwhile the lead shrinks to one here on the RBI ground ball. A simple ground ball to the infield, but the run does come home from third, and they cut their deficit to only one run. So now to the plate, Michael Lee, a potential tying run for him at third base. Now the first pitch. Comes set with the 0 and 1. Off speed pitch just missed inside. Action now in the Washington bullpen as a right hander begins to get loose. One out with the possible time and go ahead runs on base here. Swing and a miss as he pulled the string on him. One and two. And that one yanked just foul. Can we be honest here? That was a terrible pitch. That was right over the heart of the plate. Two strikes on the guy. He is lucky he's getting his pitch back. We'll try again, one, two. And this is swung on and missed, so they come right after him, and it remains second and third, but with two away now. And now the Cardinals now number four hitter, the Mark baseman. McGuire. It's been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. And it appears they're going to give him the intentional walk here, so now they'll have a force at any base with two gone. And this is the right move here. With the first base open, four. take the bat yeah, out of yeah. this guy's hands every oh, single hey time. Now. So stepping in is Yadier Molina trying to bring in the tying run from third here. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the yeah. delivery. Cut fastball in there oh, for a one. called strike. Yeah, that looked like an auto take right there. Just trying to measure up this pitcher stuff. Big spot. Two out. Possible tying and go ahead runs on base. That misses no, wide. One, one, one ball and one strike. Rip down the line. But a foul ball. One and two now. Here comes the one and two. Hard on the ground towards short. They are on the first, and they're able to escape the monster inning as the side is retired. So they wind up with two in the inning, but it could have been a lot worse as they leave the bases loaded. We've played eight full. It's the Nationals three and the Cardinals two. Giovanni Gallegos enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Gallegos. So kicking off the top of the ninth is Luis Garcia trying to pad their lead here before the bottom of the inning. Luis Garcia. First pitch on its way. Well. Hey, there's not a lot you can do with a slider breaking down and in unless you catch it way out front. I like the idea of taking it and making the pitcher bring you something a little more hittable. A one and one count to the Nationals leadoff batter. Ball, that's and he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. The 2-1 home. 
And he fouls this one off. Swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here on the ninth. He showed right there why having a good changeup is so valuable. Two and two, and he flips one up there that the bottom really falls out at the last minute. It's so hard to pick up, and it's even harder to make good contact with. Josh Harrison stands in. And he'll take a changeup here for strike one. He's got one hit in four at bats. Ready with the 0 1. Strike two called on the inner half. 0 and 2 now. Action in the bullpen now as a right hander begins to throw out there. One run game here in the top of the ninth. That's a ball. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. one. And two. The one two <laughs> offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. over toward first and a step on first for the out three unassisted up next to Russell, the right fielder Vladimir Guerrero so here is Vladimir Guerrero he was sat down on strikes in his last at bat Now the first pitch. A great job pounding the zone strike one. When you got a great hitter in the box, got to get ahead. Count leverage is a must. Aye. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Struck him out. So it remains a one-run lead as they head in for their final set of swings. Three up, three down for Washington. They're up three to two. Will Harris is the man called now, on to close this one and earn a save in the number ninth. 36, Will Harris. And now here is Stan Musial here to things Four, off six, here four. in this one-run contest. Stan Musial. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. That's a good pitch to lay off right there. That cutter inside. And that is a real tough pitch for hitters to lay off of. And a lot of times, if you do swing at that cutter in, you're going to end up with some firewood in a broken bat. The 1 0. Finds the zone, strike one. Strike two on the cutter, and he's behind in the count now, one and two. Plain to see right there that the manager's sticking up for his hitter, making sure that that strike zone gets a little bit tighter. It's tough to cover both sides of the plate, and they both want that strike zone to be shrinked up a little bit. A one-two pitch. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes.
2-2 pitch is fouled away. Hey, if he's going to execute that curveball, and that's the first one of the day, if he's going to execute it like that, be on the lookout for that one. That's going to be a big pitch for him today. Ready with another 2-2. Again, he sends it out of play. Two, two, one more time. It's laid off, and the count runs full. You can certainly tell at bats like this one frustrate the heck out of the pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. And this is taken for ball four. So just like that, the tying runs aboard to start the home half. Well, no, there's only a one-run no cushion to play with, so no he's got to be upset after All he run, walked the leadoff man here. Go-ahead run comes to the plate, and there are no outs. This could be a very interesting inning. Next to stand in is Nolan Arenado. They'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that time run from first. The pitch. Usual on at first, nobody out. Here's oh, a breaking ball great. outside, and now it's even one and one. From the belt. Kicks and deals. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. Now the 2 1 pitch. There's a breaking ball that's oh, taken for a ball. This situation right here reminds me of sitting on the bench talking to John Smoltz, Hall of Famer. He would always say, even though the situation looked bad, a pitcher is one pitch away from getting himself out of a tough jam. A three and one pitch. Popped him up. Carter over to his left. And that's the first out of the inning. The batter number 19. Second baseman, Tommy Edgeworth. Now at the plate, here is Tommy Edmond. He's set. Here it comes. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. The 0 1 pitch. One one. Max Scherzer in line for the victory, barring a late collapse here. The 1-1 one, one home. up near second base. Castro will have plenty of room as he makes the catch and there's a big out number now, two. The pitcher. Giovanni. Guy Hago. Matt Carpenter will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Number 13. Matt Carpenter. Ready. Here's the first pitch. Ball, Ball one. Count one and oh. That's Downstairs. Ball two balls and no strikes. Two and oh. Now the 
2-0 home. I always remember John Smoltz telling me the greatest asset a closer can have is short-term memory. And this situation calls for it right here. He's got to forget that he has any traffic on a base pass and just attack the zone. Hit hard on the ground is short. And this will be out of reach for Castro to base in. Now batting. Good start. Ozzy. At the plate, Ozzie Smith back hey. left-handed here as he takes a look at strike one. He's the last chance with the tying and winning runs on base and two men gone here in the ninth. Come set the 0-1. Two big outs here, but the tying and winning runs are both out there. Cardinals down to their final strike here. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. And they will get the force in a tough way to end it here as this ball game is over. Well, they sure made it interesting in the ninth, but they leave the tying run stranded at second and the winning run helplessly at first. Could have gone either way. But we were treated to a great battle. Three to two, the finish in tonight's game. The Washington Nationals led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Max Scherzer earns his first win of the season as he finishes seven innings with only two hits allowed. Seth Hargrove takes the loss despite striking out 11 batters. Will Harris hammers down the save, his second. So that will wrap things up. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our whole crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, head to theshow.com. The final line score for the ball game tonight for the victorious Washington Nationals three runs on seven hits no errors they left nine runners on base for St. Louis two runs six hits no errors they left eight men on base time of the ball game two hours and 54 minutes thank you for joining us here this evening we remind you to please Drive home safely.